Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we're going to continue with the same chapter in danger. Now learn about a new subtopic and that is absolute value. So let's start the lesson. Our first question will be what is the absolute value of minus 3? We will write it like minus 3 but there will be one vertical bar to the left and one vertical bar to the right of minus 3. This thing here shows how to represent the absolute value of minus 3. Absolute value just tells us the distance from 0. We had a number line like this. It, it means that to find the absolute value of minus 3, we have to check its distance from 0. So it will be 1. 2 and 3. So that means the distance from 0 is 3 units. We have to always remember that the distance from 0 can never ever be negative. It will always be positive. We cannot say that the, the absolute value of minus 3 will be that minus 3 units away from 0. We can say that it is plus 3 or positive 3 units away from 0. So that is our answer to this question. The absolute value of minus 3 is equal to positive 3. Now take another question. So our question is what is the absolute value of plus 3? What is it? Okay, so now we'll have to again check what is the distance of 3 from 0. So it'll be 1, 2, and 3. We can again say that 3 is 3 units away from 0. Absolute value will be represented with the vertical bar to the left. 3 and then another vertical bar to the right. So that brings us to our answer which is plus 3. So now let's check out some other questions. Like what is the absolute value of plus 6? As it is 6 units away from 0, it will be 6. Now let's check for another question. Like what is absolute value of minus 20. As it is 20 units away from 0, we'll say it is 20. And our last question is that what is the absolute value of minus 150? As it is 150 units away from 0, we will say that it is 150. Look at all these answers. Isn't it all positive? So, wouldn't it be right to say that the answer of absolute value will always be positive? To get our answer for this question, I will ask you another question. And that is, what is the absolute value of zero? Zero is zero units away from zero. So, the answer would be zero. But is zero, this answer zero positive or negative? We cannot say either of that as zero is neither positive nor negative. So, it will be wrong to say that the answer will always be positive. But we can say that the answer will always be non-negative. And what does non-negative mean? Non-negative means that the answer will always be positive or zero. So that will be our answer. So if you guys like the video, please like share, subscribe and hit on the notification bell to get more notifications when I upload more videos. Thank you and have a nice day.